Hi, I'm Tom Handel, and we're here today with another member highlight on CTN. We're featuring Coastal Enterprises, and I have here with me Daniel Wallace, who is the program director for the Healthy Food uh, Finance Initiative, and Hugh Copperthwaite, who is the Fisheries Project Director. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Coastal Enterprises, or CEI, is involved with a grant now that uh, also collaborates with the Wholesome Wave, which is a nonprofit out of Connecticut, um, about food distribution. Could one of you describe what that project's about? Sure. We're, um, CEI is working on a two-year project with Wholesome Wave to look at um, healthy foods and specifically Maine-related seafoods and how we can better integrate Maine seafood into the food system. So in the first year of this project, it's, it's really a study looking at Maine's infrastructure and how seafood is landed, where it, wh how it makes its way through the chain and ultimately to the consumer. And our, our sense is that uh, some fisheries are pretty well established in, in their routes of travel and others are a bit more piecemeal. So looking at this in the first year, just trying to get a solid understanding of how, how that food system works. And the second year is how can we then integrate Maine seafood into these food hub networks within the greater Northeast region. Uh, so getting Maine seafood to food hubs and, and reaching uh, plates beyond Maine. Now, what exactly is a food hub? I mean, what for an average person who may not understand how food is distributed, what, what does that involve? Uh, a food hub is actually a relatively new term and has really become an umbrella term to capture a number of uh, businesses that essentially aggregate, um, perhaps lightly process and distribute um, food from, from local sources. So it's often small farms um, looking to aggregate their products so that they can reach into larger markets. It could be a wholesale market like a grocery store. Uh, food hubs also can exist online as ordering systems. Um, there, again, there are a number of different forms that they can take, but the purpose of the food hub is as a, a critical piece of infrastructure in distributing locally produced food to consumers. So historically, has there been a problem with Maine fisheries or fishermen uh, getting their product out to the Northeast to, to potential markets? Well, it's, I mean, we have, we have a tremendous lobster resource in the state, and in the last few years, we've had some challenges with the industry with fuel prices, record landings, uh, the economy uh, not helping out. And, and in the summer when we have these mass landings coming in, we need to move that product. And a lot of it ends up in Canada to be processed and then sent back through Maine. And that just it really doesn't make much sense. So. Um, Lobster is, is one of those resources, but we're also interested in the other resources. So the scallops, the shrimp, uh, limited urchin fishery, uh, you know, other ground fish. Um, where is it landed and, and where does it ultimately end up? So in the process of doing this study, who will you be talking to? What kinds of businesses or, or retailers or who will you get information um, from? Initially, in the first year, we'll be talking with Maine-based businesses, so the, the dealers, uh, the trucking companies, the wholesale seafood handlers, um, not so much the fishermen, but more of the, the infrastructure once the, the product is landed um, to help us get a, a solid feel for how that seafood moves around. And then in the second year, we'll actually be talking with food hub managers in the greater Northeast region to see, you know, do they have seafood now coming into their, their system? And if so, or if not for that, uh, why don't they? You know, do they need to make changes to their facility? Do they need, you know, ice or freezing capacity? Um, what would the ideal format be for the 
the seafood product coming in so that they could handle it and then redistribute. The, the, the project, it, this particular project, is uh, an evolution of a relationship we already have with Wholesome Wave through something called the Healthy Food Finance Initiative, um, which has a regional scope to it. Uh, the point of that particular project is to increase uh, sales of healthy foods um, in retail outlets, particularly in low-income communities. Um, so this is a nice way to build on that project and begin to incorporate seafood into the conversation where previously it's mostly been focused on land-based agriculture and agricultural products. Sounds like something that would be really beneficial to Maine. If anybody uh, that's listening to this sounds like they're really interested in knowing more about the project, where would they get the information? Who would they contact? Um, well, they can speak to me, Daniel Wallace, uh, at 207-535-2916. Or, yeah, we we both work in uh, CEI's Portland office, yeah. so we're at the at the same phone number. Or you can go to CEI's website, ceimain.org, and find our contact information there as well. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Very interesting. Yeah. Good luck with your project. Thank Great. you. Thank you.